Hello and welcome to Virtue Hub Tech. In this video, we are going to be doing a unboxing and first look review of the VChance AU16T. Um, this is the touchscreen version. This portable monitor was purchased on AliExpress, and the um, the specs of the portable monitors on there and the price is so much more appealing than than what they have on Amazon UK. So um, yeah, I think I did take a bit of a risk when I got it, but if the specs are as they say, this is going to be awesome. Opening this up, and you get a manual, which is nice. It's got key operations, plug and play, safety instructions, and just tells you how to use it. Tells you some troubleshooting um, solutions. It comes with an included case. Um, this is a sleeve to put your monitor in when you're traveling to keep it safe. I also got a UK power plug, which is really nice to see. Um, this isn't an adapter, it is just a standard UK power plug. Five volts, three amps, and you get the 16 inch, 16 to 10 aspect ratio, a 4K 60 hertz portable monitor. And then you get all the cables. Um, comes with a HDMI cord. USB-C to USB-C, um, and then another USB-C to USB-C, and then a USB-A to USB-C. One of these USB-C cables is for providing power, and the other one also supports um, display um, data as well. USB-A to USB-C is for the touch screen functionality, but the USB-C cable can also um, do that as well, transmit that as well. So you can run this whole monitor, power it, have the touch screen and everything just through a single USB-C cable on supported devices. Um, I'll show you more in a sec. Oh, it has a 16 to 10 aspect ratio. So you do get a bit more height. It's very slim. You get a USB-A port here. Uh, menu button, menu and power button, and then volume up and volume down. And then on the other side, you get USB-C, USB-C, and then HDMI as well. Um, this USB port on the right side, you can actually use it to plug in a dongle or plug in a, a mouse or a keyboard. So it's for receiving data. You get rubber feet along the bottom as well, and then a kickstand. Um, that's the maximum it can go. One cool thing I do want to point out is the speaker is right at the back over here. So you do have two speakers, it looks like. Um, it's a strange place to put them. And um, when you open it up, the speakers are basically covered, they're obstructed. Um, we'll see how that sounds in a sec. I'm gonna now plug this in and get back to you. So just to show you again, this is everything that comes in the box, including the monitor sleeve, which I'll take out now. Nice material. Let's just make sure this fits. Oh. There you go, it's inside, it fits. Um, I've got my laptop here, it's a Lenovo Legion 5. It has a USB-C port which supports um, USB-C power delivery as well as USB-C um, display port or So what this means is a single cable should work. This will obviously depend on how many, um, how much power your USB-C output can do. Some laptops may only do 15 volts, some may do 25 or 65. Right now, this is plugged in with just one cable, which you can see on this side here, plugged into my laptop and it's turned on. I've got display, I've got touchscreen functionality as well. Keyboard works. I'm just going to log in now, show you how this works. So there you go. Oops, this is on now. The touchscreen does work. I open up a web browser. Uh, got it. Can't switch. Type in. 
So I do want to give a special thank you to uh, Venus Protocol for supplying us with a grant. Um, they've made this channel possible. They've made Virtual Hub possible. As you can see, the touchscreen works. It's fluid. Um, zooming in works as well. So multi-touch is working, no problem. Um, I can also show you my website. And this is the Virtual Hub tech website as well. We will be organizing eSport events for you to take part in and potentially win some prize money if you do or perform well in the um, in the championships. Um, we do tech reviews. We've got blogs as well. So scrolling works, zooming in works. And first look video. So this is a YouTube EPOS video. B20 Free Microphone. EPOS hasn't been around too long. They were established in 2020 when um, Sennheiser and Demont decided so to that's part that's ways. Maximum EPOS is now entirely owned by Demont, but they have a lot of experience making microphones and audio equipment. So double tapping on the power button opens up the um, the menu. You've got brightness controls. So this is maximum brightness. It does get very bright. Um, they've claimed that it has a peak brightness of 550 nits. You can also uh, control the contrast. Um, I think this is gamma and some other things. Um, they're not labeled, so I'm not really sure what they are. Um, resolution as it reads here, 3840 by, by 2400 at 60 hertz. Um, here you get to adjust the colors. So you've got the RGB controls right now. It's on sRGB, but you've got different um i think this is what white balance so if you want it warmer um user just lets lets you calibrate this yourself you've got all of this as well dcip3 um which makes things look a bit weird so adobe rgb um everything looks quite nice and then srgb just makes everything look a bit brighter makes the colors more vibrant and there is also um, film mode, which, yeah, again, it, it makes the colors very, very bright. Picture in sRGB, something you can play around with. Um, everything seems to be doing something, but I'm not really an expert here. So I don't know what the best option is. This one seems to look good. You also get um, inputs, HDR, you can set it to auto, DCR, free sync, and reset. If you're turning on HDR, you do need a more, um, you do need a powerful power source. Um, I had problems with it, where the display just would occasionally flash with HDR enabled. Um, I did try using the supplementary um, power brick that came with this monitor, and it didn't really seem to help. Um, it did work, but sometimes it would just flash. I, I, I do believe it just the monitor needs more power for that. Um, and maybe the included and power brick might just not be providing enough power. That might explain the flickering. And um, you get free sync as well, which I don't, I don't really know. I haven't used it, but it's there. Um, viewing angles is probably something you are interested in. And this is an IPS panel, so. As you can see, the viewing angles on this are really, really good. So left and right, left and right. And even if you're looking at that picture. And you can do up and down as well. This does have really good viewing angles. Really nice. The fact that I can just use a single cable just to get all of this going is insane. Um, it means I have to carry very, very little. And um, the other thing that I did want to check with you as well is mobile phones. You can 
it does work with phones. Um, obviously, you need a supported phone. But it does require additional power. So I've plugged this in. Um, so right now, I've just plugged in my phone. But it's just going to flicker. Yeah, it's basically flickering. My phone isn't providing it with enough power. All right, so now my phone is plugged in. I'm using the desktop mode on my phone. And this works. Touch screen also works. Which is incredible to see. Closing thoughts on this is that it's an it's incredible value. Um, I, I, I do believe this is better than anything you can get on Amazon. Um, and it's at a very great price. The screen is really bright. The colors look great. Touch screen works. They do also sell a quad HD version as well that goes up to, I believe, 144 hertz. Um, I have that one too, so I will be doing a separate video on that. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this, please remember to subscribe. And if you have any questions, just write them down below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you.